Hello, my dear friends. Best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov. I'm a research entomologist, beekeeper and teacher, and this is my YouTube channel. Today I decided to tell you the story about mosquitoes. Very tiny flies which are flying around and sometimes biting their prey because they're blood-sucking insects. Why I decided to do it? Because I did already presentation about them in another language and I want to repeat it in English for English-speaking audience just for fun, for curiosity and for education. And why? Because I have material. Yes, of course, not only just theoretically, but practically. This is my most important stuff. Because I do like to show something which I have on my working desk. And today and last week I had on my desk the special cage with mosquitoes. Yes, in this special white cage there is a water with mosquitoes, with larvae of mosquitoes. Where did I get it? Not in the river, because I didn't come to the stream river Nipper to collect them in the water, but it's possible too. I got it from not laboratory, not from a research institute. I got it from the house. One of my colleagues, who is entomologist, he presented me a bunch of eggs of mosquitoes because he is breeding them where? At home. Yes, at balcony. Because he was breeding them at balcony, and now he has idea to release them somewhere. He is searching for lake and stream to release the water with larvae of mosquitoes just for fun. And he said, I have some mosquitoes, I will give you some eggs. So in this cage, there's a water and floating on water, batches of eggs of mosquitoes. And this is very sim simple and very common species of mosquitoes belonging to the species Culix pipiens, just which making buzz, bzzz, very funny buzz at home, in forest, in shrubs, and biting some mammals and especially humans. If humans allow them to come to their house, to their apartment, to their building, because sometimes they are easily bred somewhere underground, holes under buildings, just occasionally. Or in many cases they are coming from streams, from channels, from ro river, nearby to apartments buildings, and they are irritating inhabitants because they are biting them, because they are blood-sucking insects. So what I have here? I have a bunch of eggs which are floating, and bunches of eggs already they just open because larvae already hatched, and larvae are fly swimming here inside this water, and hundreds of them, maybe I guess two thousands, because I calculated the number of eggs in one batch, and one female of mosquitoes, Sculix pipiens, lay actually. A lot of eggs in one package, about 100-120 eggs. So many larvae emerged and they're all submerged in the water here. Because larvae of mosquitoes were inhabitants of water. They're living inside water, underwater. Not underground, but underwater. And where they were breeding in the house of my friend and my colleague. They were breeding in plates under flowers. Yes, very funny indeed. Because he was feeding water under flowers, just to water for, nut for their nutrition. But he had noticed that some mosquitoes in autumn time came to his balcony and started to lay eggs, and he got some small culture of mosquitoes at balcony. And they were cultivating still during the winter time because balcony is warm. And he got already just a huge population of very common mosquitoes, Culix pipiens, which do not transfer any diseases. Very calm, very peaceful, very simple species, which is very useful as a food for fish. Yes, many invertebrate larvae, very useful for the nature. Nature, everything, everybody is useful especially in aquatic environment. So this is a food for fish, because without them, without another small invertebrates, fish will have no food. 
So I have here Larry already maybe seven, ten days. Yes, ten days because today already eleventh day of April and we hatched on the first day of April. It's here just count what a reservoir, what a box, and actually they're already quite a big, about one millimeter. Big, but still very small, because they are growing, and when they will be of big size, the uh, size of larvae is about uh, nine, nine millimeters at least. So they, finally, they should pupate here uh, again, inside the water, and from pupa, after maybe five, seven days, about five, seven days, adult of mosquitoes will hatch. So I hope so to release them somewhere to fontaine, a water fontaine or water reservoir somewhere here in the center. I should search for them. And because I don't want to keep them in my laboratory because we will be flying making a buzz and possibly they try to bite me. So that's why I need to release them somewhere in natural environment. But it's why I use them, why I keep them, just for investigation of their life cycle and for preparation of my video. Because when you have a just large culture of insects, large culture of beetles and different larvae of flies and like here, this larvae of flies, of larvae of mosquitoes, quite a lot of them. And when you, when you disturb them, they are moving very funny, they are showing special behavior, and it's quite easier, easier to record their behavior when you have not only one larva, but many of them, just for some video manipulations. That's why I will be keeping it, this cage carefully, feed them with some leaves, with some food, because they are living underwater and feeding on microorganisms. Larvae of mosquitoes, they are filtrators. Culex pipian species of mosquito doesn't transfer any diseases, but eating any small microorganisms which are developing inside the water. Larvae is small, a big one, they are filtrators, they are filtrating very carefully water, so water is going to be clean despite I put here some small pieces of bread for microorganisms. So that's why we will eat these micro microorganisms and filtrate water and water will be clean and they will be growing at least maybe maybe one, two weeks more. I guess maybe two weeks. But now it's already 20 degrees Celsius temperature, pretty warm, so they will be growing faster than before because it was a little bit cool at laboratory now, much warmer. So temperature is important for development of larvae of insects. So high temperature, insects are growing faster. That's why I keep them just for video presentations for you, my viewers, and for educational purposes. No special scientific reason, because I'm studying parasitic wasps. And parasitic wasps, unfortunately, they do not develop on mosquitoes. We develop on some larvae of flies, underwater flies, of another families, but not on Kulicida family. And there is no um, identified and determined species as egg parasitoids of mosquitoes, because eggs pretty, pretty small, quite difficult to collect them in huge numbers, and still egg parasitoid of mosquitoes is unknown. Maybe it can exist, because there are some very tiny egg parasitoids in calcidoids. Maybe, as I can recognize, the size of eggs is possibly not extremely small, like eggs of Akari. Akari is some mites. They have a very, very tiny mite. Eggs, which are not parasitized by par egg parasitoids of superfamily Halcid, by Halcid wasps or other Hymenopterous parasitoids. But still, egg parasitoids of Coolicidae family of mosquitoes unknown. I should recognize it, I should notice it. Maybe it can be found in the future, somewhere in tropical area. 
because in tropical area mosquitoes are more dangerous and more important and the importance of study of biology is higher than in our region. So that's why take care about yourself, take care about your culture of insects, make very careful observations and be careful about larvae and take small attention to the eggs of mosquitoes. Maybe you can find the egg parasitoids. It will be discovery, new, interesting discovery which has not been found before. Why not? It could be very interesting and can be described in scientific paper. So thank you for your attention and don't keep water under flowers if you are really living in tropical areas because in the water under your flowers there are some place, space for mosquitoes where you can easily lay eggs, where you can easily develop and can bite you. If you are living in tropical area, we can transmit some dangerous diseases and it's a little bit dangerous. Even in village, not only in village, but even in a big city. That's why it's not recommended to keep water in some cages <laughs> openly in city, in village, and also under flowers. In some places I I have been reading that some ponds, water reservoirs, they should be very close, usually closed against mosquitoes, or some measures should be undertaken to protect them. Don't allow mosquitoes to lay eggs on this on the surface of water. So thank you for your attention. Take care, investigate underwater life, and it's quite interesting because you always can find some discoveries for you, for you, and behavior of insects and behavior of invertebrates are really interesting and entertaining. And don't don't worry, I will show you these mosquitoes how they look like under microscope in my in other videos. In my shorts, in my short videos, and I'm also attaching a couple of this video recording after this video as well. Thank you for watching. Good luck. See you soon on my channel. Don't forget, press like, subscribe, write your comments, visit my Patreon page, visit my Buy Me Coffee, or becoming my sponsor on YouTube. Thank you for your attention. Good luck. See you soon. See you as subscriber and sponsor of my channel. Thank you in advance. Good luck. Bye-bye.